My name is Xin Zhe He. I will present you our work on few short geometry aware key point localization. Our goal is to train a key point detector with many unannotated examples and a few annotated examples. We propose to adapt the existing powerful 2D unsupervised key point detection methods to few short settings. Furthermore, we propose to constrain the key points in 3D and model key point occlusion. It allows us to detect those key points that can hardly be detected by normal methods, such as teeth key points, which are usually occluded by the lips. We can also obtain the 3D key points by only few short 2D key point supervision. Our model works on diverse datasets, including mouse, face, eyes, animals, birds, cars, and humans. Let's first talk about why few-shot keypoint learning is important. Keypoint is a common middle representation that is widely used in high-level tasks, such as post-transfer and 3D reconstruction. However, supervised keypoint annotation is expensive and tedious. Unsupervised keypoints are not human-interpretable. Semi-supervised methods still need more than thousands of annotated examples. Existing few-shot methods only work on specific areas, such as face and x-rays. Our basic idea is to inject the few-shot supervision to unsupervised keypoint detection. This part is mainly based on two previous methods. In the first method, the original image is reconstructed from the learned edge maps and masked images. We find this image reconstruction very crucial in our future learning. In the second method, key points are enforced to follow the same transformation applied to the image. We find it very helpful in stabilizing the key points. To inject the few short supervision in each batch, we sample partially from unannotated examples and partially from annotated examples. They are together constrained by the unsupervised learning. And we apply 2D keypoint supervision on those annotated examples. However, those 2D constraints cannot handle occlusion well. For example, if we want some key points on teeth, which are occluded by the lips, those 2D constraints would fail to localize the key points. Therefore, we propose two constraints to handle it. First, we predict the certainty of each key point and propagate the certainty along the edge. It can prevent the image reconstruction from putting occluded key points to the visible boundary. Second, we assume the objects in the same category are in similar shapes. For each example in a training batch, we align all examples to the same pose by an estimated similarity transformation. Then we choose the most similar example and minimize their differences. In addition to the whole object, we also constrain the similarity between parts, such as upper teeth, bottom teeth, and the lips. It helps in modeling articulated objects. Now let's go over the whole pipeline. Given an input image, we randomly mask the majority of it, so that we can hardly tell the shape. Then we detect the 3D key points and their uncertainty. Note that the detector is learned from scratch by the losses, which I will introduce later. We draw edges between the key points based on the position and the certainty. Concatenate it with the masked image to reconstruct the original image. During this process, we supervise the annotated example in 2D. We apply 2D geometry constraint to enforce the key points to follow the same 2D transformation applied to the image. We apply the 3D geometry constraints, enforcing the 3D similarity between the key points in a batch. Here is our qualitative results. We show the input image key points, uncertainty, and the 3D key points in different angles. Note that all the models are trained by only 10 annotated examples.
compared with other methods, our model shows significantly higher accuracy, especially when there is severe occlusion. Again, all the models are trained by only 10 annotated examples. We test the necessity of image reconstruction, 2D geometry constraint, uncertainty, and the 3D geometry constraint. Without image reconstruction, the model overfits to a fixed structure. Without 2D geometry constraint, the model might generate extreme outliers. Without uncertainty or 3D geometry constraint, the model overfits to visible regions. We also notice that if the annotated keypoints itself is not 3D consistent, the predicted 3D keypoints are also deformed. This problem disappears if the keypoints are indeed 3D consistent. Our model has two limitations. First, it fails to resolve symmetric objects. Second, it cannot handle highly articulated bodies. However, both problems can be solved by adding hundreds of labels, which is still one or two magnitude fewer than existing semi-supervised methods. In conclusion, we proposed a few short key point detector that is trained with many unannotated examples and a few annotated examples. We adapt the existing powerful 2D unsupervised key point methods to few short settings and propose to constrain the key points in 3D and model the key point occlusion. Our model works on diverse datasets, including those with severe occlusion. It only needs 10 to 20 annotated examples. Although it may fail on highly articulated objects, only hundreds of annotations are needed to solve the problem. Thank you for your attention.